What's up guys, my name is Luke, and today we are continuing where we left off uh, in The Walking Dead. Uh, we just met a girl named Clementine, who was hiding in a treehouse from zombies, and we just met her babysitter. <laughs> she did not like us. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Yeah. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hopefully these guys will be able to help us. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chump. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. The... This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. Uh, I'm not a dad. Um, uh, what should we choose? <laughs> I guess that. babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Uh-oh. Please, quick. Let's go. It's a good thing these zombies are so slow. <laughs> okay, looks like... Push. Mush, mush, mush. Put your back into it. <laughs> That's one way to get in the car. <laughs> As babysitters go, I'd say her parents owe you a tip. So far, out of like the four or five people that we met, one person's already dead. The police officer. Let's see how many people are alive after this episode. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then. Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. <laughs> Why does uh, everybody think do that? Do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. I'm surprised he's able to walk with that leg. Jeez. That's a really bad cut. Let's have a look. 
Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That so? Where were you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your <laughs> son's right. You can Probably afford a good idea. this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Uh, <laughs> we saw a lot of stuff. <laughs> that was just happening. With a gut spilled out on the floor, stood up from the dead and tried to bite me. <laughs> Look at his well, eyes. Do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> uh... We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's <laughs> oh, blankets and such that's in the a barn. Joke. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. I've never seen a game that has a timer on the dialogue. It's really interesting. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? <laughs> Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. There's a lot of stuff that we still don't know about his past. It should be interesting hey, to learn get up. more. Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. <laughs> Why does everybody think that? I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and... Personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. 
He's a hard ass. Honey, Doc, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I can see what you guys are talking about. The dialogue is very... I guess it... Right where it's complicated. <laughs> a lot ha changes in the story depending on what you do. Or what you say, more importantly. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Okay, we have to talk to everyone, it looks like. Here, let's talk to him first. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would've liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Interesting name. <laughs> uh... How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. Okay, looks like around the house now. We still have to talk to those two. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. It's probably better Maybe that we get to know away. everything. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Interesting. <laughs> I like Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm your 
coming. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> okay, it looks like we have to talk to the dad now. Let's see. Oh, he's right over here. <laughs> and there we go. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh, let's see. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked, and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Well, at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Uh-oh. Go! I'll get my gun! Who do we help? Of course he's not gonna help. Whack! Uh oh. No! Kenny! Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I... Uh... What took him so long to get that gun? <laughs> Calm down. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can tell it's your daughter and you need his help. Why does everybody think it's my daughter? Let's go. <laughs> Get out and never come back. Uh 
Uh, are you gonna help us? You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Maybe we couldn't save him. I'm trying to think of like the alternatives it could have gone. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Are we in making yet? <laughs> So now we have two people dead. Jeez. Look. Uh. Hey there. Don't talk you to friendly? him. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck. No. When there's a zombie apocalypse, don't talk to strangers. <laughs> Especially if you can't actually see them. Run! We can't That was close. Risk. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What about the... What is it? I... I got okay. to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. Well, Jeez, that guy needs to calm down. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Uh, Look, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle him. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody here, here. Anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Okay, Ooh. calm down. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! 
Oh no, Clementine, where- <laughs> Run, <laughs> run! Close. You okay? Just great, thanks. It's a good thing that she can shoot. Guys. Oh, yeah, that's right, they can't hear us. <laughs> is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! 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 What's wrong with it? Did he it's get bitten? heart. My pills. Oh. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown naked. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Wow, Carly saved us twice in this episode. Okay, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. A lot of stuff happened in this episode. It's a little longer than the last one. Uh, please give a, this video a like. Uh, I will probably be uploading this next video probably next week, uh, same time. Uh, catch you guys later. Adios.